All right, guys. How are you going? How are you going, mate? Welcome to the stream. Hang on a second. Oh, I need one more thing. Where did I put it? It's over there. Be right back. All right. I am back. Okay. So... I thought this afternoon, after I got back from my university course, I would jump in and do a full flight with my Dash 8 to Rockhampton. <coughs> but I'm going to do everything. Uh, so this stream might be quite considerably large. Uh, so I was going to do everything instead of actually getting ready uh, prior to it. So we're going to start off um, by just, yeah, setting up the aircraft and then uh, going up to Rockhampton, which is an hour and a half flight. Um, so yeah, is the first thing we do is, uh, what else can we get rid of? No, we can't get rid of anything here. Alright. I'm going to be using Q Virtual. This is my virtual airline that I use. So uh, I'm going to be doing one of my flights today. So here is the one that we're doing today. I'm oh, going to be doing this after the stream. Uh, I'm not going to do this because it's going to be like three hours. Uh, but you can see the roster that I have throughout the week that I have to do. So Ross, uh, these two I'll be flying today. Uh, and this one I'll be starting tomorrow. Uh, and maybe uh, move on to... Uh, that one as well. There's also that one tomorrow, and then these are the next two days after that uh, Or the next day after that. So we're gonna be doing this one So we're just gonna open up this All right, click on that. All right, so now uh, we have a few things that we need to have a look at. So we need to make sure that we have the aircraft that we're doing and the release that we're doing. So yes, we are using that aircraft. Where we're we going. So we've got those. Uh, we need to know a few things here and what they all are, which is not... Our average ISA is 13. Um, we're not in the PMDG, so we don't really need to really worry about our ISA average. Um, so that's all. Our flight level today is 220. So we're going to put that down. We're going to write that down. Flight level 220. Uh, so it's going to be 220 the whole way um, by the looks of it. So. Our planned optimum uh, flight level um, is, yeah, you write that down yourself. Um, right, so the first things that we need to get out of the fuel, uh, we need to write down these numbers here, so all these numbers. So you need the alternate, which is 1,000, 199 kilos. Now, if you're using... Um, the LB, okay, so if you're using pounds instead of kilos, you'll need to write these numbers down anyway, so alternate, you need fineries, also known as uh, holding, or um, X, like just for holding, sort of basically, so yeah, so basically while what you feel you're going to need while you're holding an airfield. Contingency, if you have a contingency plan uh, in place for the 15 minutes of flight time that you need. Uh, so that's 2.58 there. Hey, you going, mate? Welcome to the stream there. Um, also, you need your total fuel, which is there, block fuel. So some um, flight plans will say total fuel or planned fuel or something like that. Well, this one is called block fuel. So we're going to be taking the total fuel of the aircraft, so 3375. We're going to need the troop fuel. Uh, it can also be known as others. I've only ever known it to be trip. Uh, so we need 1159. And we need takeoff fuel. Now there's two takeoff fuels. This one's a minimum, 
and this one is the total uh, takeoff fuel and both are the same um, in a way but when you see the taxi here it, it's adding that and that onto there so yeah so you need your takeoff fuel so you take your takeoff fuel which is three two eight four now if you take this number here sometimes this number can be lower than that one so you want to take this bottom one not all the time but you just want to you want to take it because if you get this extra fuel here this number is going to be different whereas that one will add all of these numbers up okay so you want to take that bottom number at all times just so you're not you know yeah you want to be on the ball with that okay um so uh I he are herewith confirm that I perform uh, a thorough briefing self blah 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 and you sign it dispatcher is Madeline Reed today and the telephone for her is that so we sign blah de blah uh, we got all our alternate routes and a um, few bits and pieces here uh, so runway one by the looks of it will be taking off from we're gonna be going all the way uh, through Budgie, uh, Budgie 2, Budgie 1, uh, Ru Ruex, Ruox, whatever it is, flight level 250, um, and blah de blah, and the fuel for the trip, yep, and the fuel off of the trip is there as well. Vineries is for our extra if we need it, and we also have another one down here which is a little different, so you just have a look at those, make sure they all add up. And here is how many passengers uh, we are using, as you can see on the right hand side. I can actually add a first officer if uh, I want to give some people extra stuff. Um, but yeah, just give them, give them some extra hours if I wish. Um, so zero fuel weight, it should add up to this one up here, which is a little bit more realistic than pointing. So next things we need is zero fuel weight so two five three nine and we also need the TOW which is two liter left two eight three two three okay so you need those and that's it there now all we need to have a look at is our uh, actual routing now Airway position ident frequency. So this is the airway we're going to be on. That is the uh, identification position and all of that sort of stuff there. Top of cruise should be over around here, um, of top of climb or top of cruise, and we'll be on that airway. The flight level, which is FL, we're going to be at two two zero and two two zero and 220 at top of descent so we need to be at 220 the whole way along and we'll be doing our top of descent just before geese uh, then Dabo and then Rockhampton so we need to make sure that we're going out on coral low far and that okay that is it and then you got some wind information there up here is the most critical wind information that we need to know like turbulence and all that sort of stuff so at low far the maximum wind shear will be up here Okay, so is there any? Doesn't look like there's going to be much up there in, so we don't need to worry about that. Alright, now just to double check, we're going to be using this sort of stuff. So I've written all these numbers down. I'm going to leave the thing up for you just so you can see what I'm talking about. Alright, so there's a few things that we need to get. We know we need 69 passengers, so I am going to go ahead and take off two there. And there we go, 69 passengers. I am also going to put the takeoff fuel here, which is 3284. And our trip fuel is 1199. Done. Okay, we need to make sure that our zero fuel weight matches this number here. Okay, so. Uh, 25078 is 25 so we what we need to do is just drop a few kilos so we're going to go ahead and drop 8 100 there and then we're going to go 
put five there. And then we're gonna go put another five there. And I we'll think we're one off, aren't we? No, we're not one off yet. We're near we're a couple off, so I'll put um nine. Let's do that. Will that do it? No it won't. So we actually have to go sixty one. There it is. So eight hundred and sixty one Okay, there we go. Right, so we have all of that. Now we have our landing weight, which will be 70, uh, 27,000, and our takeoff weight will be 28,000. All right, so we need to have a look at a, another piece of paperwork. I have this on my tablet. I just thought I'd show you. Now we know we are 28. Um, thousand at takeoff, okay, and we know we're going to be twenty-seven thousand ton at landing. Okay, so we look up the VR and the V2 stuff on here. Looking at, look up the VR and V2 from the appropriate VR and two T will and assuming VR uh, V1 is VR, so they're the same. In uh, VR exceeds um, V2. Assume V2 is VR. If icing, we're not going to have icing for wet runway. We don't know if it's wet yet. Uh, I don't think it is. And if it, um, VR is below 108, 5 flaps, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. But we are looking at flaps 10 for takeoff today. And we will be using the 28,000. And we are going to be doing that. Now you just round it down. You can if you want to do this one. Because uh, we're pretty close. No, we're not. We are. Takeoff weight is 28323. So we'll be using that one. So we'll be rounding down. So V1 is equal to VR, which is 121. Now, for my personal preference, I always take five knots off. Uh, so that will actually be uh, 16. So that is, just splits it up. Okay. So that's for flaps 10, so you need to remember that. And then it is 1, 2, 2, 4, V, 2. Alright. Then we need V fry, which is V fry flaps 10. Okay, we're looking at here. 1, 3, 4. And we're also looking for the V climb, which is 1, 5, 4. G'day mate, welcome to the stream. <coughs> For our landing today we're going to be using flaps 15 and we said that we're going to be 27,000 uh, 27, kilos uh, roughly. So we'll be using the 26th here and we're going to be using V app which is V approach and that's 122. Alright, so it's 1, 2, 2. Alright, so that is all we need. Um, for the approach. Now, as you can see, 35 flaps, we do not use any landing at all on a flaps 35. Uh, you'll be using a lot of V-refs for flaps 35, but most landings will happen with flaps 15 in the dash 9 Q400. So we can go ahead and get rid of that. You don't need to see that again. Now, this one here is in our um, uh, metric. You can have the other one as well. So uh, you can have pounds, so that's in kilos, you can also have pounds, so remember that. Alright, so we're going to send this flight to the, uh, this data to the sim, so just click that. Okay, I'm going to leave that up because I'll probably be using it again. What we need to have a look at as well is YBBN. So we need these ones here, and we're going to be departing on, was it Coral? I believe it was. Coral. All right, so there's a few things. So, uh, well, we can put this in conditions, yes. Um, we'll put that into that condition. Um, so, coral. So, we're going to be taking off, I believe, on runway one. So, we're going to be going out to very and then over to coral. Now, to find that out without asking ATC, we can just go to here and just go refresh. Done. Um, and then edit flight. Now this will be the one that we just got from Q Virtual. We have a look, runway white and runway 15, so we're pretty good on that. Okay. Alright, so we're going to be going up 
out to there. All right, so what do we need to leave from here? So track 16 out to very, out to turn left, and track out. Now, looking at this VOR, we need to be at 2,500 when we hit very, and then we head out to Coral. Now, Coral, we have to be at... That's, uh, where am I? No, here we are. Okay, so, yeah. You've got to be up at this height, basically. 3,800 by the time we leave the airfield out to towards Sunshine Coast, out to Coral. So that's where we're going to be out there. Uh, once we're out at Coral, we can be um, at 10,000 feet if we get out there by then. And we have to be at 250 knots or below. Um, and here it says uh, 220 knots until passing. But this aircraft will not be going over 154 for climb. So that's all good. We don't need to worry about that. Um, so we're not going to worry about any of those. Alrighty, so we'll go back to here. Because uh, we're doing a virtual flight, we need to click on Rockhampton. Uh, this is the one we're doing, so we're going to fly that. And we'll go to there, pick our destination, copy, go to Q Virtual, put YBBN in here, paste that, and then YBRK done uh, we should be able to change I don't know why we can't change whatever's uh, and we're going to be doing two two uh, zero 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 so that's our flight level and we hit uh, start so that is now started the aircraft uh, in what we are going to be doing so 22,000 feet uh, where we're going and what we're doing and all that sort of stuff okay all right, so now we can go to the aircraft and start up. All right, so unpause that and turn the annoying sound on. Um, and okay, thanks. All right, so basically the aircraft is in a turnaround state. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead as if the aircraft has just been given to us. Alright, so the first flight of the day has been done. What we'll do is... Turn that off so you don't have to hear anything for now. Okay, so we've done our documentation, so we've, we've got to check the batteries. Alright, so make sure all batteries are on. We've got to make sure that is on as well. Uh, DC power's on. One, two, one, two, three, four. So DC power's all on. Uh, check the voltages by over here. Uh, we are on ground power, so there's it's actually getting a positive there. Uh, check all the safety equipment, which should have been already checked by the time we got to the aircraft anyways, by the first officer or the other people that were on board. So we would have gotten that from their briefing, but we check it anyway. Landing gear, uh, three pins uh, down there, and the three lights and doors are open. Circuit breakers are in on both sides. Uh, they should be. Uh, I don't have the Pro Edition yet, so... Yep, uh, alternate gear inhibitor switch is on the norm, which I believe it is. Uh, up there, there it is. Fire and all that tested, now we're in a go around, so we don't actually have to do it, but we can if we wanted to. Okay, 
bleeds. One and two are off. They are off. Okay, uh, APU bleed required. We're not on APU yet. Uh, the fan is on. Emergency lights are armed. Making sure that we turn our navigation lights on. Field transfer quality is in the center, which it is. Parking brake is checked and on. Nose reel steering, we have off. And now we're ready to set up the FMS down here. Okay. First, before we do that, we're going to do the fuel. Zero fuel weight, we said was 25039. Whoops. Enter. Our alternate is 119. Enter. Our hold. Fuel is 668. Enter. Our extra for today is 258. Enter. That's our total reserves for the day. And our total fuel is 3375. Enter. To find out what our actual fuel is, there we go. So that is a little bit different to what we got from the actual uh, on board, uh, from the um, plan. So I don't know why that is, but that's just what it is. So that's what we've actually got in the aircraft. Um, so we'll just leave it as is uh, with the aircraft, 2-9. Sometimes it's exactly the same, sometimes it's not. But if we have a look at our total gross now, 28, 3, 2, 3. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so we're pretty much pretty close there. All right, so if you, our flight plan, we now need to look for this one here, I believe it is, to find out if it is exactly the one we're going. Lofa, uh, Coral, Lofa, Grease, Dabo, uh, and yeah, so that's the one that we just uh, did. Uh, that has come from Simbrief, okay. So we know we're kind of leaving on runway uh, one. Uh, so we can take out that runway one. We're going to uh, three coral, leaving on runway one for our SID. Okay. Click the enter button again, and then we click flight plan. And there it is, very coral loafer done. Okay. The next one we know we're going to be arriving at runway 15, two, locked it in. And we're going to be coming up from uh, Dad Dabo. So, two. We're going to be landing on runway 15. Yes. And we're going to be doing a VOR approach on four. Enter. And we're going to be going on one. One. And click again. Done. Now we're going to check the format. So, I'm going to open up this one for you. Open up that and open up that so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, and we'll zoom out just a tad more. As you can see, we're at Brisbane uh, and Lofa. So if we just bring it in here. So you want to have a look at the whole thing. Make sure that's all good. Come down here. Now we want to get rid of this big triangle thing here. How do we do that? We go, okay, so Dubbo is there. We want to get rid of this RK. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Get rid of Dubbo again. Uh, and then we see where we're going to be uh, after that, which is up here. Now, we want to get rid of the RK, um, this link here. We want to leave that RK there just in case they want us to do another uh, rotation. So that RK, we're going to be at 3,500 uh, for a... Um, here, let's have a look. So 3,200, sorry, uh, for a... Um, if we need to, we can do a hold holding pattern to find out if we're on runway 15 or runway uh, 33. Okay, should be on runway 15. If we are, we can uh, go ahead and cancel that out and link it up with the rest of the runway. Okay, that's all good. 
All right, so we're pretty much set up here. Now we're going to go ahead and tune the comms by putting both of these to FMS. Now, for memory, I'm going to try and do this for memory. Hit nav. Ooh. I'm going to enter to here, down to number one, because I'll be doing this flight again uh, backwards. So 320. No, it puts it in there for later. I'm going to be putting in the two uh, ILSs for this area. Just in case I need to land on runway 1 or runway 19. So there. And I'm also going to go ahead and put in the um, VOR for... Now I can't remember the last digits for this so bear with me. I want to put the VOR in for YBRK. So we're going on 15 VOR and it's 9. I thought it was, I just wasn't sure. Next time go with your gut, okay? Alright, so there it is. And we're going to go ahead and put number 1 in here. Done. Okay. We'll do the same thing here. 3, 2, 0. 1, 0, 9. 5, 0. 1, 1, 0. 1, 0. Uh, and one one six nine zero. Always put them exactly the same as normal. All right, so we already have our emergency and our um, normal frequency for VO, uh, VR, um, VFR. So we're going to lock that in for now. That's all good. And we've got our comms on both sides. You can have uh, your comms set up the way you want for when you're talking to, like, uh, when you're on, um, what do you call it? online doing online flights with players and all that sort of stuff but don't need to really worry about it too much okay so that's a tuning setup there done <clears throat> what we need to do now is accept that now we yeah put that up <laughs> accept that and we're gonna exfil it across so we don't have to do it all again hey you going mate welcome to the stream welcome both of to the stream hang on a second I need to go and charge me phone Alright, and exfil the fuel. I don't know if I exfil the fuel or not. Uh, what did I do there? Ah, oh, that. Alright. Did we exfil the fuel? Yes, we did. And there's the flight plan. All done. Okay. Now what we need to do is go ahead and check to see if the doors are open still, which they are. So let's give some doors closed. main doors and that are closing there they are they're closed uh, we can go ahead and put that in nav now so now they're both open we want to change one to terrain which we will do on our side and we'll turn the format to that way there changing the course to 16 and heading to 16 as well for our takeoff and set our altitude for 8,000 feet. Done. Uh, and we need to change these over to um, FMS 1 and off. And off and FMS 2. Okay. And change these courses over to the FMS dumb. Okay. That's how you do that. Navigation aids. So there's a few different ones. I'll show it on this screen. Alright. So that's FMS. VOR. VOR2. FMS2. Okay. If you have ILS locked in, that will change from VOR to ILS. Okay. So that's that done. We're going to set the autopilot up for it now. So wing level GA. Then we click nav. And it will change it to LNAV. Ready to go. Okay. That is pretty much done. Now we can go ahead and turn on the power to the APU. Wait till the lights are all done. 
start the generator wait until that starts up and we can go ahead and do the checklist so before start checklist we set the trims to times three making sure that the trim is actually in the to box so the times three is one two three making sure neutral and neutral done okay doors and lights are out which we did check already passenger sign should be on so that's that button that button uh, one is the no smoking so that should always be on flight doors are locked yes cabin reporters received and the exterior lights over here to the red position okay APU bleed is off so we're going to turn the APU on now and we're going to turn the external off the reasons being uh, we'll be running the generator outside um, but we're not going to turn the bleed on because we don't need the bleed uh, because we are about to start okay so we need to make sure that the battery is at 26 volts and 22 uh, by looking at this screen here and we can uh, electric and we can see that the battery is on 26.8 I'm gonna grab this and put it over here so you can see it click as you can see yep so done hey guys how we going welcome to stream there okay so that is basically it there uh, we can go ahead and ask for the departure I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the that now That is actually asking us to go out to um, some other area, so we're not going to worry about that today. So I'm just going to say that I've just gotten clearance to go. Alright. Alrighty, so we're going to start up. And we're going to get a straight back heel. Well, we are ready to push back. We are ready now, please release one break. All right, release the parking brake. Parking brakes, release. Engine two and engine one to normal. Engine two to start and select. Back now, you're clear to start the engine number two. Clear to start engine two, starting. Now it's gone quiet. Thank Just check the engines. So we need to put the both up to the start and D feather. So they're working perfectly good. All right, so that is started there. We're gonna go left now. Break on. We wish you a pleasant stay on board. Parking brake set. Can we get clearance at number one? It's always free and clear of no secure. Clear to stop the engine number one. Alright, clear to start engine number one, he says, so we're going to quickly head out here and just see when engine number one starts up. There he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, may we have your attention to the international safety regulations. Alright, so that should turn off in a minute. PSI should be our uh, 61 plus, so normally 66 on both engines. Once that stabilizes, that should turn off. Yep, okay, so they've all stabilized. So after, after start, we need to disconnect the power and APU, so APU off. So starting with the generator, then power. Main bus tie is off. 
electronical panels checked. So we make sure that our electronical panel is all checked and what we need. Condition levers, we now we set to max and listen to the lovely sound. For more detailed information, please refer to the safety instruction card in a seat pocket in front Thank you for your attention. Select the auto feather to white, on. Selecting fuel pump left and right, on, and the hydraulics, on. Then we check our flap speed, down to 10. Then we check the rudder for travel, which we have checked all of those already, I believe. So rudders on neutral and all that sort of stuff. Nose wheel steering on. Uh, we've checked our, or we've done all of our stuff on our PF, uh, PFDs, which are all here. We've checked it all. All good. Now we're going to go to bleeds. Make sure our bleeds are on after one minute of start and minimum there. Okay. Now we go over to our any ice protection. Despite being hot, cold, whatever, these three have to be on and that has to be on too. So we're going to warm it up to before we head out to the runway. Okay, and our X bonder needs to be on. On. Now to turn it on even properly uh, for flight, we hit the that button, XP, and then we go here to above. And there we go there. Okay, so that's now on. If you really wanted to uh, do a test on it before you go, just do that, okay, that, and it will do a test for you. All right, so let's uh, move the seat forward, and we are ready for flying. GCAS system test okay. All right, taxi brakes uh, is checked, so we're going to test our brakes. We're going to do our takeoff warning, which is there. Takeoff power is set. Yes. So max or end top. So takeoff power is set to end top. Uh, hydraulic uh, pump and all of that, and ailerons and all that are all on, as we can see. All done. Your dampener on. Uh, clearances are all done. Yes, reviewed by the pilot flying, and cabin is secure. So we are good to get going. Taxi on. So we've been given taxi clearance. And off we go. Making sure that you have your control lock on, otherwise this aircraft will go pretty quick on you. Alrighty, on the way out, I want to uh, listen to... Okay, it's not going to let us... That's right. Alrighty, so to do this, we're going to have to do it two ways. Alright, so we're going 108 or 2977. That's uh, pretty low at the moment. Okay. Alright, so we're set. Set the MDA up to 1000 above. The airfield. There we go. And out we go.
he has a Dash 1 or 200, I believe. One of them. I think it was a 200. Alright, I've just seen two warning lights. I pretty much did it on purpose. Just so I can uh, show you uh, that there's something obviously wrong. Okay, so that is the anti-skid test. Um, so make sure that that comes up. Alright, so you'd get a lot of warnings uh, going out on the runway speeding up if you had that down. That's okay. Once I get the Pro Edition, I'll be able to put a lot of failures in the aircraft and uh, try and uh, rectify them on the way out, or down, or out, or whatever, in. We can see how it goes. Landing altitude is zero feet. Uh, we don't have to do that unless we're landing, but I tend to do it on the um, out to the uh, departure, otherwise I'm going to forget. Alright, so we're like away from the terminal, so we're going to go on standby now, so we can warm up the radar, so we're not giving everybody those bad x-rays, so they can't have a family or anything like that. So, all those bad x-rays are now pointing directly towards us. Uh, once we go to turn it on, we want to find out what's exactly above us, so 3 uh, degrees to the tilt. Uh, if there is any weather out there, we got a aircraft coming in by the looks, according to our radar there. So we'll uh, wait for that one before we go. So there looks like a 747 over there, and a 737. You can tell the difference in size in this game, let alone the real world. It's insane. I actually had this right next to an A380 before. That was ridiculous. Just to see what the, diff the size difference was. Next time I do it, I'm going to take a screenshot. Alrighty, handbrake on. Okay, so this aircraft, you don't actually have to use brakes. This part down here, where it says dis, that starts the reverse uh, function of the aircraft. Um, so basically, the aircraft starts going uh, to reverse. So if I go out here, you can actually see the blades. Watch this. Watch those blades change. Uh, they normally do change. Probably have to do it when it's like going flat out. You can see like the the, the blades doing their uh, little thing, like little they're turning flat or straight or whatever. Very really cool. But I've got the uh, I've got the lock on, so they're probably not going to do it as much. All right, so we got a, a uh, aircraft on final there. So once he is off, we're going to go. Now I found out what the Q stands for for the Q400. It stands for quiet, but this aircraft is everything but quiet. So... So that pulled me mic out of the computer. Just need to grab a shirt. Alrighty, so they landed. Is there another one on final? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there's a couple. Yeah, now we've got plenty of time to get out of here. Alright. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll line up and get ready for go. Alright, so what I had to do was light and change the red to uh, my strobes and break off. Let's go.
Alright, he's off, so we're pretty much ready to get going. Alright, so automatically the spoilers, as you can see right in front of us, has a taxi and flight. You can do that yourself, or as soon as the throttle gets to a certain spot, it uh, clicks off itself. So you, if you forget, you forget. Doesn't really matter. Alrighty. Now, this aircraft's really good. Now, one thing I didn't do, that's my bad, is put our V-speeds in. 116... So that should be done back at the gate. 2-1. That's what happens when you do a big day at uni and come here and you just forget one little one little thing that would really kill you. Alright, so we got 134. I'm too used to the 737 where they do it automatically. And 154. They're the V-speeds that I was talking about that you have to um, calculate yourself. Um, so 154 is our climb. Okay, we're good to go. And we've got to make sure our bleeds are on normal. Okay. You to tell if your bleeds are in the right spot. If they're not, they'll be yellow or red. Uh, if not, it's on white. So it's pretty good. V1, VR, and rotate. Aircraft kind of rotates by itself, so you just got to give it a little kick. And uh, positive, gear up. Flaps up. And let's start trimming the aircraft out. Okay, aircraft's trimmed. I'm not really worrying about the uh, controls now. And what was it? 2,500 at very. So we need to be at 2,500 by very. Which is literally directly ahead of us. So after takeoff, flaps up, gear up, and bleeds on normal. And we also... So that's 1,000 feet. That is our after takeoff checklist. Which is normal. Woo. And we also need to bring our speed down to 900. Oh, our throttle. So that's down there, and we keep going. And we can bring our speed down to 154. Uh, one, Alright, so I'm actually controlling the aircraft at this point in time. So these guys should be having a go at me by now. Yeah, well, they were, but um, now I can talk to Brisbane if I wish. Alright, so we need to start trimming up for the uh, the new speed. Alright, so we're at 2500 now, which is good. I vary, and we can keep going. Put our speed back up. Alright, we're going to go heading select so we can get a little warning when we get uh, altitude select, sorry, not heading. Uh, so we can get our warning when we get, hit the 8000 mark. And uh, when I deem it fit, so make sure our flaps are all up. Cool. I can fly this whole leg if I really wanted to, or I can just put it on LNAV, which I probably will for now. Uh, so we're going to go pitch hold. Uh, as you can see, now it's on pitch hold. Now we go IAS, which is now automatic, and our speed is 151. Now this is normally for the pitch up and pitch down. Okay. So we want to go full throttle, but because we are now in IAS mode, it will actually change the speed. So five. Four, so 154. Now we are at full throttle with this aircraft. Uh, we don't have to bring our throttle down or anything. And now this aircraft is under control. Now, just say we've been cleared to 1500. Altitude select. Always click altitude select when you change, otherwise, the autopilot will not register and it will stop at your last one that you used. 
okay. And taxi lights off. Done. Underneath here, you will see your ice uh, warning, so you need to be watching this at all times, uh, one or the other co-pilot or yourself, whoever is pilot monitoring has to be looking there. Uh, if that is the case, you need to turn on all of these. Okay. I normally do it by checking the radar. Now we're up in the air, so we check the radar. So let's check that radar now. <coughs> so it doesn't look like there's anything out there at three degrees up. So we go back down to zero degrees. And just check, looks like there's something out there. But there's literally nothing, it's just this thing. Well, looks at it. Oh, I thought there was something out there just a minute ago. Eh. Oh, so there's no weather out there at all. It's just clouds. Um, so yeah, there's really nothing. Um, it does have our direction. So we're getting a tailwind at the moment, which is really good. So we're going to use less fuel. Uh, so that's actually behind us. Uh, I think it's going at 11 knots. Um, and that's the arrow that it's pointing at. So... And that is basically it until, yeah, we get up to the 10,000 mark. Hey, you going? Welcome to stream there. Alright, so we're at 9,200 there. Still climbing. Okay, so we're at 10,000 feet. Turn off that, turn off that, and we are still stable at 10,000 feet, no rocking or anything, so the belt can come off. We have to click the middle, so it goes to 1013 hectopascals, and we need to go uh, to 2992. So there's two ways you can do it. You can do it in your normal way, or there's an STD button right there underneath. But yeah, it's 29092, so what we'll do is we'll just do 29092, done, done. Okay. So both aircraft are now at standard, uh, standard height, um, once you're above your transition altitude, which is what we are st sitting on there. And now we're pretty much just set, ready to get going. Uh, what else can you do? Uh, we now also turn off the uh, auto feather, the pumps, and we also turn off the standby pressure. Okay. Leave all that off like that. Alright. So we don't need any standby or anything like that. So, all done. Good to go. Landing flaps, we can set to 15 now if you wish. Uh, otherwise, don't worry about it. And basically, we just monitor the aircraft until landing. Uh, so we're pretty much good until landing from now on. Uh, this is my ACARS that I'm using for uh, my uh, virtual flight. Uh, these are all the flights that are out of Brisbane for me, but these are later on. Uh, we're going up to Rockhampton. When we get up to Rockhampton, these will disappear and there will be one from Rockhampton back to Brisbane. Uh, and then I'm doing Rockhampton to Emerald. Then down at Emerald, there'll be one to come back to Brisbane. Uh, no, Brisbane to Emerald, Emerald to Brisbane, and then I have a Brisbane to Gladstone, Gladstone to Brisbane, and so on and so forth. Uh, so that's our warning for 1500. So we got a flight level of 220. Click. This aircraft cannot go above 27,000. Okay. So 2200 is perfectly fine. Um, uh, the max ceiling that you would probably push it is 25. 27 is just way too high um, for this type of aircraft. So, yeah. But yeah, no, that's basically it. Uh, there's nothing else now until uh, the descent 
uh, to where we will be going. Uh, so our descent we know uh, is, so I'll open it up so you can see uh, what I can see. We need to find out what our descent is. So we're, the holding uh, is 3200. Zero, zero, uh, let's find out. So our holding here is actually 3000. So 3000 is our thing. So what we're going to be doing is going to go out here, back to the aircraft, and go here to navigation, maneuver, holding, defend pattern. Uh, we're going to put it here. Prefix is going to be um, by here. Until um, and whatever the, the distance, blah blah. So we leave that arm, that hold there. We can go back to that hold whenever, uh, when we need it. Okay, so it's good to go. Here we're gonna go to this six. There, click, done. Double check to see if that is what we have to be at. Three two zero, yeah, three thousand um, for the landing. So um, we go there. So click on that. Uh, where six enter, enter, and three thousand. Uh, and that is that. Uh, we're not going to be going down at 1800, so let's go down at 6. Done. And that is our VNAV set to here. So if we go 1, 2, 3, 4, you should, by rights, have a um, top of descent. There it is. T O W. Uh, T O D, not W. Uh, so after, so our top of descent should be before geese, but there is where our top of descent is there. Uh, but if we want to come down a little bit slower, uh, and our top of descent, go here, uh, we'll go 1000. our top of descent is now further back. Now we know we need to have a top of descent before geese because that's what our flight plan said. So we go here and we change it again to 700. Enter. Go back here. There it is. Top of descent is way further back. So that's good. We're good to get going. Okay. So that's our top of descent. So we keep that one now. So that's how you set your top of descent for your VNAV, and that is also how you set your um, holding pattern. Okay, you have other ones here that you can set uh, your radial, uh, all that sort of stuff, uh, if you wish. Uh, you got a few other bits and pieces that you can change. Uh, I haven't had a look at this stuff yet. I'm still training uh, in the FMS, uh, but what I know is good to go so far. Uh, there's also a heading that you can change as well. Uh, command heading. Alrighty, so other ones here. Direct. So if I wanted to direct straight away uh, to a particular thing without having to bypass any of these, I can just go click, boom, straight in. Done. Uh, and all that. So we can go to flight plan here. Go down and go click. Done. Make sure they're all good. You don't want to get rid of that link. That's part of the. Um, that link there is part of the go around, so you want to keep that link flashing or not flashing up to you. Okay. And you keep that over there for the co pilot. Alright, so we are now at altitude. And basically, we're just monitoring. Now that we're at altitude, we are still in uh, max cl uh, cruise climb. So that should show up. When it 
when you don't want it to show up, it shows up. Alright, so MCR is the max cruise. Okay, so one's climb and one's cruise. So we want to be on that one so we can be cruising. Okay, and this one is for the landing part there. Okay, well, it actually showed up. So request reduce NP uh, A5 for landing mode. Uh, this one here is request max climbing rate. And this one is cruise uh, max engine cruise rating. So 64% there. Now, we have that. Although we have that, we still need to watch the speed. So we need to control with the levers. As you can see, there is a little arrow pointing up. As I pull back, you can see where the arrow disappears to. Okay. So you need to watch that. So just watch that little arrow at all times. Okay. Still no weather out there by the looks of it. There is something out there, I just seen a flash of lightning. Should be a nice smooth ride the whole way there. Alright. So it looks like we're turning to the left. Nice little uh, ocean down there. It looks really, really nice from up here. So now we are on our course, so we're going to bring the heading around to our heading that we're going. Uh, just in case the aircraft has a malfunction and we need to keep a different autopilot going with heading instead of LNAV. Um, otherwise it's just there for us to keep a location if we want to fly the aircraft itself. So. Uh, just keep checking to see if there's any anti-ice there. So we're at minus 15 um, with a Celsius at the ground uh, or whatever uh, below us. So sat is minus 15 and it's 13 degrees outside as well uh, where the engines are. But we will put it on slow just for a purpose of anti-icing instead of a de-ice. So I just wanted to, I just want to be protected. Uh, I have flown these this leg quite a few times now already uh, with this aircraft and I've been flying through storms and all sorts of stuff and I've found uh, that I have been in a bit of strife with ice. So I just want to be protected anyways. Uh, despite it being really hot uh, in Australia, uh, it is like 32 degrees or something outside, um, it is still pretty cold up in the air. Uh, and you can uh, get ice up here as well. Uh, in other places, you probably would find snow uh, as well at some stage. All right, I'll be right back. Just putting a shirt on. I am. shirt on, just had a shower, so I was drying off ish well, I was already dry but I don't put a shirt on straight away after a shower, it's just something I do alright, I'm going to go out and get some uh, screenshots because I can, because I want to Quite a, I haven't got uh, many screenshots on this uh, aircraft, so kind of do want to get some.
I should do a full stream on the right hand side one day. Just for shits and giggles. Uh, because this is where I'll be sitting most of the time. Yeah, it's a little bit different compared to sitting all the way over that side. It's a lot different. Most of the time the pilot flying in the Q400 is the uh, FO, which is on this side of the aircraft anyway, is the pilot over there sometimes does the... Uh, monitoring but he does do the landings sometimes I just feel more comfortable over there I don't know why I just do I probably should feel more comfortable over here because I drive on the right hand side of the vehicle so I should feel more comfortable over there than over here but in an aircraft it's just different one day I'll be uh, pretty comfortable So we don't need that anymore, I don't think. So we'll go back to crew center. Currently flying, being tracked. So yeah, this is just going to add up. I have uh, 337 hours and 26 minutes until my first officer promotion, and this is my uh, status to the like my contribution to the uh, V VA. Uh, virtual airlines that I'm flying for, Qantas. I am flying for Qantas Q Virtual, um, run by real pilots and enthusiasts. And uh, yeah, so I need another 360 additional to make it to reach the gold uh, spot. Oh, I would definitely make that. Definitely, it's a uh, 20 up and 20 back, so that's 40. Um, so I'll. Might have to do some bigger flights eventually to try and get a few more days until inactive. 28 days. No, that's okay. I'm definitely active. But yeah, no, it's not bad. I like it. If I want to swap to an airport too, I can just jump seat, but I have to pay money. Uh, so this is my points in balance. Um, and that's how much money I got saved up. So. If I was to go like somewhere else or whatever, you know, yeah, that's how much money I'll pay. Um, oh, how much I'll have left over, sorry. So that's my balance and that's how much I've got left. But you can use this at a later date to go on and purchase other things, I believe, whatever's. Uh, get rid of that. be streaming for one hour and 17 my god that's all right it's not bad all right so we can go down here and have a look at the time what time we're going to get to certain things now we're going to be here at uh 7 39 that's in utc time so that looks like 43 minutes 42 minutes Still nothing on radar, which is really good. It's a nice, smooth, cruisy, cruisy flight, which is really, really good. I like it. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and kick off that. So all you can see now is my game.
Sorry about that, guys. What's happening there? Got a little black screen. Alrighty. Turn that off for a sec. Uh, you probably heard a little ding before, but um, that was because I was uh, downloading. Uh, a new streaming software that I wanted to have a look at. So look at this really cool thing that's uh, popped up here, uh, and what it's doing. Is um, syncing my uh, simulator. Oh. Sim Zulu time, sim local time. And uh, real Zulu time, so it's it's roughly quite uh, yeah, it's working really well. <coughs> So there's a 
use a manual installation. I need to turn my antivirus off on uh, Don't even have one, I don't think. So we're actually above the uh, um, VNAV, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this VNAV just a tad to uh, 1102. So there's our VNAV now. There. Um, so we need to be at 3000, don't we? So what will happen when we get close enough, we'll have a VNAV thing pop up here.
still launched, I agree. Done. Okay, so now I can go here and turn on that. And again, sorry about that. I'm back. Alright, so now you can see the um, V and the line. So we go V mode, so it's now on V nav, and that will come there. Uh, we need to change this to 3000, so altitude select 3000 V nav. So now we'll start descending at that speed. Fine. Okay, so I'm not going to restart my computer just yet. I'm going to have a look at it later. It's so just another streaming software other than XSplit that I am using. And the good thing about it is I'll be able to put up on the stream how long I've been flying for and all that sort of stuff. It's actually brand new. I just found it. Um, it looks like it's only been out for like a couple of months. Um, so if it, it looks good, I'll, uh, I'll be donating it and um, getting it on some good... Uh, get some good uh, streams out there for it. So get some more people involved on it. Alright, so we're, uh, it's, uh, the wind's gusting to our uh, left here, just in front of the nose at 25 knots, and uh, like we, uh, that was on the um, flight plan, I believe, so. Hmm, screenshots. There's a Vanuatu flight. Discord there. Unfortunately, I won't show Discord on um, on the stream because I don't think that would be appropriate for you guys to see um, other like other people's names and stuff like that. And if I do do it accidentally, my bad. Sorry. Alright, so we're coming up to our level now, and here we go. So V path is now initiated, and we're going down. So now we got to do reduce our throttle to 850. Click that. to go going down. Okay, let's go check the... So descent pressurization flaps required, which we've already done the flaps. And we need the uh, tables for speed. Okay, so our speed for landing was 122. So I just changed both of these to 122, so there's no discrepancies in the landing speed. fly to idle if you want to, that'll bring us right down, but I, I tend to just do it nice and slowly. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to tune into Brisbane Centre and just listen to them. We should have been doing that the whole flight, but I wanted to not talk to them. So squawk 5616, so get the tuner up, ATC, 5616, give me chance. Alright, 
right, so now that we're landing, uh, coming in, I'm gonna go over here and change that. Probably should have changed it a while back. I'm gonna set that to normal now. Turn some volume up on these uh, things. Make it a little bit more of a realism in the flight. Yeah. So tired for some reason. I'm like wide awake, but I'm so tired. Love the Dash 8 Q400. I've been flying this for quite some time now. It's really, 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 really good. So we're at 4.9. Um, 49 minutes of flight time. Normally it's around about an hour and a half. Um, so... As you can see, uh, when we get to Brisbane, it's going to be like 7.52. So it's still like another... Um, 23 minutes until we get there, so um, that's to there. Um, then we've got to do the actual approach, so we could be approaching for another extra 10 minutes. So it's about an hour flying and half an hour to sort out the landing. Uh, but we did have a, a, a tailwind for a bit, so we did make a bit of a bit of leeway. Alrighty, so now we have to set up for our landing. So we know we're going to be on one way 15. So it's six, uh, six one, one, uh, one, one, six, nine. Our heading for this landing is going to be um, one, two, uh, three, two, uh, three, one, two. Is it three, one, two? Tracking, 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 tracking. Uh, one, four, zero. Zero is the landing uh, for the um, landing there. Yeah, one four zero, and we climb to three thousand five hundred. Uh, we need five five zero, and our altitude for the airport is uh, thirty six. So it's not a big deal. Ah, uh, final course approach. My bad is one five eight. All right, my bad. I should have used that, not this one five eight. And that and the pressure altitude is there. Proceed. Procedure altitude is one and a half. Uh, MDA is one uh, five five zero. So MDA is five five zero. And our decision height is going to be um, uh, one point two hundred. Two hundred twenty will be our decision height. So MDA one five zero. Right. Okay, so we're going to set our decision height to 550 and our decision height to 220. So if we haven't, um, if we haven't decided to land before then or whatever as soon as we get to 220 we're landing simple as that if we have to go around before then we will <sighs> crazy all right so we're going to tune in the radio um to our our new altitude so we get our uh, new frequency sorry Four again, done. Click on four. We go. Alright, so both navs are now working on where we need to be. Uh, so they should be on that now. 
Yep. There we go. I gotta do this flight again. I'm killing. It's killing me. Killing. Killing me. So we're coming up to our, uh, so that's our 3,500 mark that we need for um, uh, our go around. So that's what that is there. Gladstone's got uh, ILS on um, runway 10. Oh, the sun's 
starting to go down. Alright, oh, well that calls for some uh, lighting. It's going to be dark when I get back to Brisbane, I reckon. Yeah. I reckon it will be. So our airfield should be behind the clouds if it's not over there in, in that green area. Looking at uh, Actually, it's probably not over there. Yeah, actually, it probably is over there. That's all right. We've got Rockhampton, yep, cool. Let's, uh, let's see what the Of course they're going to say 3-3, three, three, right there, right there. Um, so yeah, it was that green area. Okay, so we're going to change a few things. <coughs> Alright, so we're coming up to the 10,000 mark there. So, bang, 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 done. Alright, so we're done all of that. We go ahead and turn these on. Right, so there's a few things that we have to change up. Um, we know we've got to go to the hold now. Um, so 3000. So we can go to the maneuver page, hold page. And we're going to be actually changing our hold to the actual hold area, 10. Enter. And then we're going to arm the hold. Done. Okay. So now we are going to be holding over here at our lovely um, airfield. Okay, so now we can go ahead and sort out our new flight plan. Alright, so we are now arriving at um, runway 33. Uh, we're going to be coming in from 2. Runway 33, uh, which is 2. VOR, still. And we're going to be coming from there. Enter. Flight plan, enter. Dock. Okay. Close off the link. Close off the link. So it's not going to work that way, I don't think, is it? It doesn't look like it. So that's our flight plan. We're still following. We should be still following our flight plan. Right, let's, uh, uh, we'll just exfil this flight plan back over. stuff this fly plan around here and delete this one. Delete. We arrive at um, Y B R K. It's I don't know why it keeps changing. Every single time I get up to Rockhampton they change the fucking runway on me. They said fifteen, now it's thirty three. Maybe I should just preempt them to doing that. And just not put a runway in in the first place. And we'll see how they feel. Because it really annoys the crap out of me sometimes. Ok, 
Okay, no link, get rid of the li no link. Okay, get rid of this no link. Get rid of that. Okay. Alright, so now what we have to do... Is link this up to them. Okay, so we're gonna go data, exfil the uh, flight plan over. Now what it's gonna do here... It still take us out here, uh, which is what I wanted to do. Once it's done that, it will take us onto our next range. It'll take us over to this. <laughs> All right, and that that will still give us our um, our landing. set us up for the approach so that's why this flight takes a little bit longer than normal because of that particular reason and then we can just like sort on a few bits and pieces and um, probably take over and land automatically so that aircraft is the one that just said that it was going to take it so we'll go um, tower So we are almost at our destination um, thing where the aircraft should eventually take over in a minute. We'll be going back towards our uh, SID to go back to the aircraft. We'll see in a second. Should be like right now. Any second, maybe not.
There it is. last part though. Um, I don't know if it's if it's taking us it's taking us over here. Yeah, this is why I hate it when the um, airfield does this. Like when they decide to, like, oh, okay, well, I'm gonna give you a different uh, airfield when we get there. Alright, now we're going into runway 33 now. But I bet you it's not runway 33. Before get close enough, I'll um, take over and I'll do a manual landing, which is what I love doing. What we could do now, um, go nav sources now, change that to 330, uh, 332 I think it is. Okay, so I'm gonna take over now. Yeah. Flaps down one. Alright, so knowing our speeds is one, two, two.
think right base and whatever's they stuffed up so I'm now coming around this way left base is our uh, missed approach altitude and we're going to go ahead and swap over to VOR nav
landing speed was two, uh, 122. I think we've got a bit of a headwind here too, so...
the weather radar now can come off. Bleeds off and on minimum. That should have been on minimum on the way in. Signs off. Lights is required. Actually, they can stay on since I'm chilling around here. And condition levers off. Alright guys, thanks for watching, um, and yeah, there'll be another stream in the future. Thank you very much, see you later.